Hi there Aries, thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be your second half of May general reading. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I do zodiac tarot readings and every Monday I also post a video about a metaphysical topic and we call that Metaphysical Monday. So if you're interested in that, the playlist is linked in the description box below. You'll find stuff about um, meditation or crystals or smudging. There's a bunch of different things in there. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, check out the description box below. So I've already started shuffling, but while I finish the shuffle for Aries, I'm going to remind you that this is a general reading and I will be connecting to energies all over the place. So there will be messages for more than one person. So if something doesn't resonate for you, it's probably a message for somebody else. So please take what resonates for you and leave the rest for them. Okay, these are brand new, so they're um, giving me a little bit of an issue shuffling. They need to be broken in, so that's why we're here. Okay, so I'm going to do one more shuffle for Aries since they're being stiff right now. And the bottom of the deck is going to determine the overall energy for the reading um, since we don't have a question to go off of. And at the bottom of the deck we have... Ooh, what? That is the Nine of Swords. Okay, looking pretty creepy, right? Okay, so the Nine of Swords is, um, so I feel like this might be something that's uh, keeping you up at night, kind of, um, something that's troubling you, um, something that you might be losing sleep over. So let's see, what else do we have? For Aries, what is going on with Aries for the second half of May? All right, all right, we have strength, the eight of wands, and the three of cups in reverse. Okay, so strength, all right, so something something that you feel like you're, you're, you're having to be strong about, um, something that is maybe either you're feeling pressured to move or you're trying to build the strength to move because I see the three of uh, cups is in reverse, so I'm feeling like maybe there you're, you're kind of... Um, not interested in playing along well with others you are um you're it looks like maybe you're trying to leave something behind or move on to something better and maybe building the strength to maybe even go out on your own the three of cups is more of like um celebration or party or like you know getting you know growing a group of friends or or spending time with a group of people um but we have it in the reverse, so I feel like maybe you're you're maybe trying to move on from a situation that um, involves other people. So, and I don't, I the three is not um, necessarily a romantic, but could be like friends or family. So um, we're I, I feel like Aries is trying to move away from something else here. I'm trying to move into your strength is what I'm also hearing. We have the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so I feel like maybe there's um, some kind of uh, male energy in your life that may be even trying to control finances for you or that um, maybe it's it could be a boss. It could be just somebody in your life that is, you know, trying to be taking, um, taking a high ranking is what I'm hearing. Um, taking over your ranking, if that makes sense. And we have the Knight of Wands. So we have we have some wands. This is the second wands card we've gotten in here. Um, but that's um, that's more movement. That's more movement. And it's the direction he's going is away from the king. So I feel like there's there's definitely some movement you're really trying to you're trying to get away from something. What do we have as an outcome? What what are we um you kind of, I kind of get a feeling of what we're trying to move away from. Um, I feel like it's a controlling situation, something that um, is, it's also very much related to our first card, the Nine of Swords. Um, whatever this is that you're trying to move away from, that has, it's it's um, troubling your mind. You're 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 spending way too much time thinking about the situation and. That's why you're trying to get away from it. Um, and I agree that you need to get away from it. From what the cards are showing me, it looks like it's something that you should not be involved in right now. Um, so what, um, 
what happens when Aries gets away from this person or situation. The Hermit in Reverse. Okay, so you find yourself. The, the Hermit normally is um, kind of taking the initiative, taking the time to search for answers, go within. Um, we have it in the reverse, though, so I feel like you, when you, we ask for an outcome, what happens when you leave this situation is that you found yourself. The, the Hermit has returned from, um, returned from his journey within and you come back whole and um, at, kind of at peace with yourself and one with yourself so whatever the situation is that you get away from when you get there you're going to feel more like yourself is what I'm getting what advice what advice do we have for Aries Nine of Wands in reverse. A lot of reverse cards. I feel like um, we need to take a step back being a lot, a lot of reversals in here. I feel like we need to kind of take a step back, um, which I think you've already decided you're going to do. Uh, but we have the Nine of Wands. Nine, 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 not night. I'm a little bit cold going on here. It was a nine. Uh, nine of Wands reverse. So it's time to let your defenses down. Um, once... Once you get away from whatever the situation is that you're not happy in, I feel like you you come back more in tune with yourself and more at peace with yourself. Um, you really need to be focusing on yourself right now, but I feel like um, being defensive is not going to help you in this situation. So what this is telling me is that you need to um, let your guard down a little bit. Um, find somebody that you can confide in. Um, I say I feel like I say that in a lot of videos, but... Um, being at peace with yourself can't always just be isolating yourself. So I feel like, um, letting your guard down and being more, um, open will, uh, it, it's like, I'm getting images of like, you're, you're in a room and like, there's like a cage and the door just like the cage of the door just goes shoom, and then you have like just an open door. So I feel like letting that guard down, letting that the defense system that you've put in place down a little bit um, will not only allow others to see you as a person, but it'll also let you come out of your shell a little bit more. So if there's um, if there is someone that you can you feel comfortable talking about the situation with, I feel like that would be beneficial to you um, or just in general being more um open to being vulnerable, not necessarily being vulnerable, but being open to the possibility that, that might be what helps you. So let's see if we can get some more advice for Aries. <coughs> Damn cold. Page of Cups. Okay. So <coughs> um, I feel like this is uh, kind of taking taking a step in in the in a in the direction of kind of loving yourself kind of taking um taking advice from someone like the page is usually kind of a messenger um this kind of goes back to the previous card where i was saying you know if you can find somebody that you feel comfortable talking to i feel like um there's there's going to be a message in there and that you can take somebody's advice on um on how to how to be more in touch with your heart uh, being a fire sign that's not really something you're accustomed to you are you know the going out there adventurous you know being brave and and you know taking a stand but you're really not comfortable accessing the you know the watery sides of your um of your sign and your emotions so I feel like at this at this point there there should be a message coming in that <clears throat> that you should be listening to and it will help you get more in touch with your <coughs> your emotional side so <coughs> I'm so sorry um yeah I think that that would that would definitely help you turn this turn this situation this nightmarish situation that you're you're in and 
turning it around and becoming more in tune with your, your inner strength, your inner guidance, um, following your heart. I mean, this is the only upright cup we have. We have the three of cups are reversed. So I feel like you're really, really trying to ignore your emotional side. And I feel like the page of cups is telling us that you should be um, learning to embrace that, um, learning about your heart. And I feel like in order to do that, you need to get away from this situation that is um, causing you some restless nights or some uh, stress. You, you're feeling stressed about the situation and you're really trying to get away from it. But I feel like you do get away from it and you come back whole and more, maybe not 100% whole, but knowing what you need to do for yourself to become more whole and um, being more in tune with your emotional side and learning to access and harness your emotions is what I'm hearing. Uh, perhaps in this situation, you did not um, feel the emotional connection and you're starting to realize that in order to be fully in whatever this situation is, whatever this friendship or even relationship, um, I don't necessarily see this as a romantic relationship, but it could be that this turns into a friendship, um, whatever the situation is that you're dealing with. But I feel like um, this relationship has also helped teach you that sometimes you need to step aside and let your let your emotions tell you what you need to know because you're used to just, um, you know, going for it and not really thinking of the emotional implications that certain things might have um, in your physical reality. So... Get in touch with your emotions a little bit. Maybe be open to the possibility that there is somebody that can help you access those emotions. Maybe not access is the right word, but um, harness is what I'm hearing again. Harnessing your emotions and using them to propel you into um, a happier place emotionally and physically um, with whatever it is that you're trying to get away from. But I feel like you get out of a bad situation and whether or not you're um, leaving a person or a place behind um, or I feel like for some of you it's actually um, turning it into something better. So it may not be that you are leaving a situation um, but leaving it the way it is and allowing it to be something better. So um, I hope that resonates um, but yeah, I feel like you're doing good and you're making, you're taking the right steps. And when you get there, you'll know. So thank you so much for, uh, watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button and check out the Metaphysical Monday playlist in the description box below. Thank you again and have a blessed day.